Hey guys, Ben Lepier here. Um, I've been helping people for about 12 years now have build happier, more fulfilling lives and happier, more fulfilling marriages. But men, I salute you. You've been working your butts off, doing the kind of jobs that other people just don't want to do. And in amongst that crusade, men have become so lost. And when we are lost, we have even more of an orientation towards the stuff that just isn't helpful for us. The, the drink, the drugs, the disempowering conversations. You just flick up social media and as soon as you do, you're in, inundated with images of successful sports people and successful business people making lots of money, making lots of this, doing lots of that. Lots of practically naked women and, and things to just make you feel like the grass is so much greener and you should be having it already. Yeah, a wise man said, the grass is greener where you water it. <laughs> Men make two different comparisons. One, they compare themselves to the life that someone else appears to be having versus the one that they are having. And that difference makes them miserable. Or two, they compare themselves to the life that they think they should be able to have built by now versus the one that they're actually living. And again, our suffering is proportional to the distance between the two. Like there's just a better life that you should be living. That makes us feel pretty unhappy, really. Quite small, quite hopeless. And after living a full day in I'm small and hopeful, hopeless and not good enough, all day long, of course, men come home stressed and feeling overwhelmed and like they don't feel that they're getting the kind of support and understanding and space that they need from their partners. It just feels like they work, 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 work and then get home and it's more work, 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 work. And it is exhausting. We're just so lost and exhausted. There are two big problems that come from this condition and this scenario. Um, two things will happen. One, men will just vegetate, give up, believing that what's the flipping point in trying? I've worked so long, so hard, what's the point in trying anymore? Or they decide that if they just work harder and keep their head down for longer and toughen up and get more angry and get on with it in some sort of solitary way they'll eventually get there and don't those goalposts just feel like they get further and further away both scenarios literally lead a man directly into hell a hell of this endless slurry of the strategic thinking mind overthinking being getting us completely stuck in that prison of thinking the same thing over and over and over and over which is an environment that you know we a lot of the time we just can't even see that we're stuck in and often Somebody else needs to be able to tell us you are in that unhelpful place, that unhealthy place. Einstein said, we cannot solve our problems with the same level of thinking that created them. So just working harder and faster and longer is unlikely, according to Einstein, and what did he know, lead to a happier, more fulfilling place. So what, what can we do, you guys, after hearing all this? Well, firstly, if you just make loads more money, You'll make loads more time and you'll never have any issues ever again. That's what I was told. Um, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You might get there, maybe. It's just one way. Number one, go find someone to talk to. It doesn't have to be your wife. Just Don't just open your mouth as well and just complain and whinge and moan about everything. That also keeps you stuck in your head. Talk about how you feel. Talk about the kind of pressures that you feel under. What... The, the responsibility that you feel you have to provide um, and that you feel alone, you know, how I feel that she should do more. No, I feel like I'm going to explode from all the pressure I'm under. I feel like I can't ever say to my partner that I'm not going to be able to complete X, Y, Z this month because I just can't stand the look on her face. Number two, go and connect with the natural world. Get out of your head. Um, go and connect with something in nature just spend 10 minutes in complete silence go out for a walk, breathe, go for a cold swim um, or come to the Unearth in the Wild Man Retreat on May the 19th to the 21st 
Um, that will be an unbelievable event. The feedback we've had from the last event was unreal. Um, if you want to apply for that, reply to us on any message that you're seeing this video on, on any platform that you're seeing this video on. The feedback we had from that event was absolutely out of this world. So again, there are only 10 places. We keep it small intentionally to maintain the intimacy. If you want to find out more, just send us a message and we can absolutely get to doing that.